The Honor 8 Pro is the newest flagship tablet from Honor. In China, already known for a while as the Honor V9, it finally arrived in Europe. What it has to offer, I will show you here. Inside the dark blue box is the Honor 8 Pro, a SIM tool, a USB Type-C cable and a 9V 2A power adapter which supports fast charging. With the two included lenses, you can turn the box like you could with its predecessor, the Honor V8, into a virtual reality cardboard, which is a pretty cool and innovative bonus. On the front of the Honor 8 Pro is the 5.7 inch LTPS IPS display with a WQHD or 2K resolution of 2560 to 1540, which especially should make VR fans happy. With a pixel density of 515 ppi, everything looks super sharp and also the brightness leaves nothing to be desired. You can read on it like on paper and thanks to the eye protective screen mode, even the usage at night is very comfortable. Because of the NTSC color space of 94.5%, it displays colors beautifully, so watching movies or playing games as well as editing pictures is very enjoyable. Protected by Gorilla Glass 3 in 2.5D form, the display should survive daily usage. Also on the front is the front speaker with an integrated notification LED which glows very strongly and visibly and an 8 megapixel f2.0 front facing camera. It takes really good selfies but due to a fixed focus it is not possible to focus manually. It is also not a wide angle lens. The majority of selfie fans should still be happy with the camera, especially because they can use the various integrated beauty settings and editing possibilities. In the best case you won't even need additional apps, once you set up your profile you will look good on every picture. On group pictures, only your face will be recognized and improved. This way you save some editing time. Of course, you shouldn't overdo it. On the right side, you can find the power button and the volume button, as well as the SIM slot on the left side. Here you can choose to insert a second SIM card or a micro SD card up to 256GB. On the top is the microphone for noise cancelling and an infrared sensor, which you can use to control TVs and other devices. On the bottom is the 3.5mm headphone jack, a USB Type-C port, which you can also use in combination with USB-C headphones, and a mono speaker paired with a microphone. Where the microphone actually does a good job, the speaker is fairly decent and it doesn't take long for it to sound tinny and lose dynamic when turning up the volume. In addition, also the stereo function of its predecessor, the Honor V8, is missing. The back, the frame as well as the buttons are made of a high quality aluminium alloy painted in a more matte color. Apart from the fact that the Honor 8 Pro feels really good in hand and has a great finish, it is really slippery and because the device is very thin, you should think about some protection because it's easy to lose grip. A super fast and precise fingerprint sensor which supports various gestures like pulling down the notification bar or swiping through pictures is also built in. On the top, next to the dual LED flash and the laser focus, is also the 12 megapixel f2.2 dual camera with a color and monochrome sensor, but without optical image stabilization, which is on the same height level as the rest of the back surface. You can take beautiful pictures with it, because the dual sensor can not only process more light, but also comes with an integrated bokeh mode, where you can set the aperture and the focus before or after taking the picture. Also, for the first time with an Honor smartphone, you can actually use the monochrome sensor, which lets you take great and vivid black and white pictures that can convince with their high amount of detail and contrast. For every possible situation, there are also all kinds of interesting photo modes, like food mode, light painting, ultra snapshot, beauty mode, and a pro mode which can let you take raw pictures and set up exposure, ISO, focus mode, shutter speed, white balance, and so on. Kind of odd is the 3D creator mode which lets you 3D scan a face and turn it into a Nintendo Mi like avatar with the scanned face. In total I really like the quality of the camera and if you spend some time with it, especially in pro mode, you can achieve really good results. The quality of the video camera is relatively good, but still can't reach the quality of Samsung and others. Even though now you can record in 4K with 30fps, there is still room for optimization because for example 1080p doesn't really look like 1080p and the dynamic range could be better. But most of the users either will never use the video camera or will think that the quality is great anyway. Other features like time lapse and slow motion are of course not missing. The Honor 8 Pro is only available in one version, in black, blue and gold. It comes with 6GB of RAM, but for today's standards is still much more than anybody needs, and 64GB extendable internal storage. 
Like the Huawei Mate 9 and P10, it is also equipped with the High Silicon Kirin 960, which can convince of its great performance. Especially in comparison with the Kirin 955, we got here with the Mali G71, a GPU that is around 180% faster. In combination with the in Android 7 integrated Vulkan API and supported games, the rendering performance is additionally around 40% better and you also save 6% more battery. I tested the latter and can confirm the 6%. Not only most recent games on the highest settings, but also the system and other applications run super fluid. Because the Honor 8 Pro is very thin, it may happen that it generates more heat compared to other phones like the Huawei Mate 9. I think the device could have been a little bit thicker. The performance of the 4000 mAh battery is awesome and also an intensive user like me usually gets through the day quite well with a screen on time of around 8 to 9 hours. Others can even get excited for 2 or more days depending on their usage. If the battery should be empty you can fast charge it thanks to the 9V 2A power adapter. Supercharge like with the Huawei Mate 9 is not supported here. The Honor 8 Pro comes with Emotion UI 5.1 based on Android 7.0 and runs super fluidly. You can imagine it even if it's not perfect as a combination of the best features from iOS and Android which is very user friendly and easy to get used to. Many interesting features for which you usually need additional apps are already integrated in the system and yes you have also bloatware installed but those are easily uninstallable without a problem. Regarding VR, Honor has a partnership with Jaunt VR of which the app is also pre-installed. Unfortunately the offer is very limited for now and only contains short films and making offs of bigger movies. The Honor 8 Pro will be officially available in Europe and some other countries on April 24, 549 euro or 474 pounds through their online store called Vmall and other online partners like Amazon. It can also be pre-ordered already. In total I really like the Honor 8 Pro in regard to design, finish, battery and performance. Even though it has some weaknesses, it is maybe still one of the best devices in this price category since most of the devices with similar specs either have a similar price or a significantly more expensive price tag. Still with Honor's target group in mind and also for them to be more competitive, I would have preferred a price of 499 euro. You have questions about the Honor 8 Pro? Ask them in the comment section. If you liked this video, give us a like and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Thank you for watching, my name is Umit from mobilegeeks.de